Let's hear it for the toys. Ah, uh, let's give the toys a hand. We tabletop sports sim folks, you know, we're not content to have very accurate, statistically based games. No, we need equally accurate accoutrement. You remember those mini helmets, now you see right down here. Bubblegum helmet has come a long, long way since those uh, days of the 60s and 70s were a quarter. Gosh, maybe even a dime would uh, get you one of these wonderful little toys jumbling out of the gumball machine. Now, of course, the great thing about collecting today is that you can buy these things in bulk. You can find a complete collection. But here are some things you may not have been aware of in your travels. I have seen some folks exhibit some really strong mini helmet game. Uh, for instance, I've seen them use their mini helmets to track the progress of the ball as you matriculate down the field. Really cool, smart, smart thing. Um, of course, you remember you had your old gumball buggies brought your cars with you these they can get a little pricey on the market but i'll tell you if you really want to roll roll down a the field there they brought their awesome toys with them it's a nice little option and what's cool is you can see the evolution of the helmets they've uh, certainly gotten bigger <laughs> right the uh you know there's a vast difference between the uh, modest little gumball helmets of your little square uh, obviously you have much more capability here in terms of molding and uh, getting things accurate and of course you've got so many mini helmets on the market that uh, you know people get them signed and all that good stuff Whatever flavor you wish, if you're an old AFL person uh, or you're a fan of the more modern looks here, you, know, you get your gradations, your uh, color schemes throughout the years, right? Uh, we've got the uh, Niners and Lions out here for a reason. We'd be working uh, something a little special with those, but, uh, you know. Now, you can argue that... Uh, Sometimes they get the stripe a little wide, so, you know, it's a, it's a trade-off, and of course, they don't really modify the um, bars, but uh, you remember the good old uh, 70s uh, helmet cars, and you see them. Uh, there's actually a shot, I think, of all teams' buggies on one field, but if you look at those old 70s, 80s games, you'll see a lot of these out there. Now... Another cool find recently for me was the old ice cream helmets, right? The, uh, I guess you get a nice little, uh, I don't know if I'd, I wouldn't, there's no way it would last in my, uh, <laughs> my go would be the ice cream be all over the place, but you know, you might even use this babies, who knows? Could you use it as a dice roller, something like that? Shake it and throw it? Is that acceptable? I don't know. Again, I got our Niners and Lions out here, you good old, uh, well, St. Louis Cardinals to some of us. Uh, again, you know, the stripe uh, maybe a little wide there, but uh, you can, if you're a fan of the older look, get your nice old Bengals there and your uh, good old 70s style two bar mask. Got your uh, Dolphins there. They're pretty sturdy too. I mean, they're flexible yet sturdy. Again, your old Pat Patriot there, your Dan Fouts style charger helmet, and your again your Chiefs. So we got uh, a lot of Chiefs going on here. All right. Then things evolved a bit more. Remember the good old rolling bubble gum helmet that gave way to some something cool called the End Runner. The End Runner series came out, I believe, in 1993. Um, yes, 1993, Mark Sportscraft, Arcadia, California, made in China. But uh, again, you get your old AFL flavor there. You can find these generally 
in the ten to fifteen dollar range, and they're pretty sturdy. They're um, again, if you want your Fouts era chargers. I believe I got a lot of seven of these chargers uh, buggies for um, not too much money. Sometimes they uh, end up burning a hole in someone's inventory there. Very well packaged. Just get this all done and you'll find a pretty good deal. So, you know, as with anything, with any collectible, especially on eBay, having patience is important except when it comes to unboxing these babies just pull this out from around the wheels and there you go again down down the field you roll very nice and you can compare the specs car to car certainly a bit more going on in the undercarriage here and uh, you could even cart your dice in for a little extra show if you're so inclined, <laughs> that's uh, uh, maybe it'd be a, a bit much, but um, very sturdy. Note the uh, nice uh, plexi, little piece of glass there, nice little lights there. These buggies, uh, in fact, I saw someone had a Steelers buggy, an actual working vehicle for sale several years ago. I'll see if I can find that listing again and throw that in the video, but uh, a couple nice ways to get your... Uh, dice rolling in a very different way. Now, another buggy style emerged from Fleer, the good old sideline car. Some came in limited edition, so again, you get your flavors, right? You get your classic, and then your other classic Jets look. Limited edition, serially numbered, all that good stuff. These you can find uh, in the 25-ish range. Hey, good old Mount Laurel, New Jersey. Look at that. Um, I still see that there is a FLIR site out there. This one dated 2004. Um, this one, not seeing a date on here, but uh, in any case, 2004 for the uh, 70s style, the Ken O'Brien era and uh, Wesley Walker era jets there. Of course, uh, in the old sideline or rather the end runner you could get that look as well with the uh, black face guard so a lot of little ways you can go here um, then of course finally found my Steelers sideline car and this comes in two flavors as well there's one with the um, gray guard from the 70s coming around we'll come around here to the Giants Again, that nice uh, Meadowlands era look. This is one of the limited edition ones. Not for all teams, note that. So, you know, you're uh, somewhat limited in these. I think there are more versions of the end runners than the sideline cars. Uh, then, of course, if you just want to go your classic mini helmet, Riddell, and goodness knows how many other ones. With a nice little, oh, I forgot about the football in there. Oh, that's a little keychain. I'll we'll throw that somewhere in the mix. But you get your nice little, uh, you know, more realistic look to the uh, padding and the webbing and all that good stuff. Classic red skins there. So, you know, depending on what you'd like to have on your field, like I say, you know, if you want to throw a little bit in here, maybe. It's a little more transparent, and there you go. So, up to you. That's a, that's a, you have to check with your tournament director and see what will be allowed there. Of course, it's not limited to customizing the helmets. We love to customize our fields. A couple things, I actually saw someone using this just the other day on uh, Facebook. And I saw someone else using one uh, a little earlier than that. It was what prompted me to buy NFL Rush Zone. Haven't played the game, but boy, it's a fun, uh, you know, well, the cool thing about it is that all the end zones are customized. This hasn't even been played. So we'll just open this baby. Oh, I'm going to break the tape for you. And uh, 
I have no clue how this game plays, what the methodology is, but it's good. I mean, look at that. You get the pylons and all that. That's something I, I was thinking of using uh, orange thumbtacks on a custom app of field as the pylons, but you get all your nice little stickers and you get all your end zones that you just kind of plug into the field. Now, you know that we've done in our community, going back to guys like uh, George Adams and Ken Kraft, we've been customizing fields and uh, stadium, stadia, stadiums and parks and we uh, like to do the, um, this is interesting. So they're using the um, <laughs> nice little uh, funky mascots here. Oh, one, whoops, came out, there you go. But uh, this is, you know, a nice little uh, look if you like to do it. Uh, probably a good game too. Probably a good game too. We'll have to check this out someday. And you simply plug those fields, those end zones onto the field. I had an idea for a custom stadium I'm going to do where you can take those fields that we customize and um, good old Michigan and Trumbull here. Look at this uh, field. But when you customize the APA fields, you know, this is the uh, Greg Barreth uh, Heinz field that he had sent us a few years back. Uh, Starting around eight, nine years ago, a bunch of folks, Bobby Porter's got a bunch of these as well. I put them on some foam board and all that. As long as you secure some nice uh, uh, field art from the actual ears of the team, you can put that on that foam board. But if you've got these NFL end zone style, NFL rush zone end zones, you can maybe slip those if you had a felt field with plexiglass over it, maybe slide just the end zones in if you want to do something like that. Of course, the whole field effect is kind of cool there, but um, another thing that came to my attention was good old Mighty Helmet Racers. It takes the idea of the mini helmet to another uh, direction, another level here, rather. It kind of, it's the same look as these uh, face masks, right? So the cool thing about this is that you've got a couple of, um, you've got chargers and you've got these guys who, this set doesn't work, but you've got these guys who you put the helmet on, you charge them up on the um, base, the uh, water, water cooler, water tank base, and then you've got uh, football controllers that will let you drive these guys around the field. And there's some sort of rule here for the game that uh, I say it doesn't really work. It's uh, Mighty Helmet Racers. I'll have to get back into this a bit. But, you know, if you really want to go <laughs> even that, that much farther afield, if you will, in terms of uh, <laughs> driving, driving the, uh, the game home, look, they're having such fun. Every team helmet, uh, not the uh, throwbacks, I don't believe you got your... Uh, well, you got your Neo Classic uh, jet helmet there. You got your uh, Classic Bengal there. You got your, um, that's, that is the vintage uh, uh, Miami Dolphin there. You got the uh, darker Eagle helmet there with the uh, more pronounced lines. Kind of your, your well, that's more your uh, St. Louis Rams look there. Your uh, greatest show on turf era. You do have the, um, well, this is the uh, white, white charger bolt the white bolt there you got your uh brady style patriots you got your uh darker Niners look colts have always been the colts you got your big old bills look there so uh, whatever your uh you know team your flavor your fancy a fun a fun possibility for you now you know i've been customizing fields going back to my first one since I was 14 years old, it was just a playing card or something in a magazine, I think. Cut that baby out and gotten a lot of use. Uh, you see, uh, actually, you know, what I recommend if you're going to be looking at, if you're maybe learning the game, you can always uh, just throw some uh, tape on there, the uh, little uh, sticky notes to denote your end zone. You could do that even at your other uh, sidelines or yard lines just to uh, uh, remind yourself if you're going to be 
learning the game, teaching someone the game that reminds me, reminds you to look at the, um, uh, the different charts for results based on field position. And then if you can secure some great field art, or maybe if you're a good designer, you might be able to find a source for some images and build your own fields. These are just some tests. Uh, Super Bowl one, of course, Super Bowl 13. Uh, some classic Niners there. You know, if you find a good source, this is from Gridiron Uniform Database. Uh, they're a little uh, busy right now, so uh, we're just um, just in the early stage of experimenting with these. But uh, contrast, you know, if you can blow that up, you go to a printer, uh, you can mount some on your own uh, foam board and all that good stuff, and you're ready to go. You might want to consider. Whoops. <laughs> you might want to consider your um, uh, a felt field. Now that's that all comes down to whether you. You know, subscribe to wanting the dice to bounce more or less. And again, ask your tournament director. Keep rolling a football in there. Silly me, but uh, Michigan and Trumbull does great fields. Again, this goes, uh, I remember when uh, George uh, Adams and Ken Kraft were doing some nice fields. I don't know if they're still doing it, uh, but these are really well, well done. Uh, just fantastic stuff. Of course, Mark Dergarabedian, if you've seen his stadiums go way, way even bigger. But uh, this is really cool to see the, um, you know, there's so much you can do to customize your game. Toys really do help. They make a difference. So I hope this gives you some ideas. Happy hunting. Happy gaming. Customize away. I quit. I don't want to play no more. You broke the darn car.